morning, everybody, and Kaveri. Uh, thank you so much for having me on this uh, first edition of Indulge. And I think this is what this first edition should really be about: is indulging yourself. Yeah. Uh, I take uh, the lockdown to be yeah. a blessing in disguise right. because I meet people practically every day. When I speak to them about skin and hair care, there is only one sentence I hear from them, and that is, "We don't have the time." Right. So now you have all the time in the world to indulge, yeah. pamper. discipline and look after your skin and hair right. and first let's as you said we have certain issues because uh, we're stuck with things like this which is hand sanitizer having uh, 70% of alcohol which dries out the hands as yeah. well as regularly washing the hands right so you need oils on your skin which are going to be ripped completely right I'm going to show you a very simple little home ingredient which we have in breakfast every day, which is oats. Hmm. So you just need to take about one spoon of oats, hmm. and I've put it into a bowl, into a simple glass bowl, and I am going to add a little bit of water to this. Hmm. Oats are something which are a soft thing. Hmm. In fact, you'll find oatmeal. and oats to be in a lot of softening creams so when you start reading labels mm. especially of products which are into ayurveda you can mix in milk also so i'm just mixing this i don't know whether you can see it but it's just becoming like a one thick paste and you take it at the hands after washing your hands with uh, uh you know a hand wash or a soap you just rub mm. these oats and Leave them for about five minutes. So I'm going to leave these oats on my hand. This can also be used on mm. your face, because I know a lot of us who do not have house help, yeah. Kaveri, are now cleaning, sweeping, swabbing. So their skins are like subject to dust and grime all the time. Right. And uh, the weather changing. We're into spring. Yeah. So uh, you know the, the skin can feel very really leathery and dry and right. uh, lackluster. Leave this oatmeal until it dries, and then just rinse your hands with water after five minutes. Right. And you will find that you don't even need to use a moisturizer or a cream because oh. your hands or your face become super soft in just five minutes. Interesting. So huh? it's a very simple thing, and uh, you know something which can be imbibed. But then again, like what Kavita has also been talking to us, that what we are pr- propagating is nothing new. It's not a rocket science. Right. You don't look at skin, cooking slowly, cooking healthy. These are all things which our great grandmothers, our grandmothers used to imbibe into yeah. their daily lifestyles. Right. And uh, people have been talking about slow cooking. They've been talking about you know uh, meditating, doing yoga, drinking yeah. water. Yeah. Uh, you know, looking after the skin and hair. It's just like brushing your teeth. Hmm. So we, as adults, tell our children when they're growing up to brush their teeth hmm. every day. Uh, but how many of us tell them to clean their skin? Yeah, none of us. Yeah. So when you meet somebody for the first time, you don't look into their mouth. The first thing that you see is this. Yeah. And it's never looked after in our growing years. It's just wash your face, and, you know, come and study or go and you know sort of go and uh, have food. Yeah. So now I've actually bumped it off because my hand was dry and I don't have a tap. Yeah. And I can tell you that there is a marked difference between both my hands. I mean, this is feeling like really baby soft. Huh. So this is a, uh, I should say, a lock, a lockdown tip, which any of you can do. And if you don't have oats in the house, you can pick up barley. You can have huh. jaw. So yeah. jaw also will have the same result. Hmm. And um, I think disciplining because. Uh, I have a whole team of therapists who work with me, mm. so pampering for me has never been very difficult. Mm. But I've come to realize that you can do very simple things yourself, and because we're cooking, all these ingredients are available for you in the kitchen. Mm. So uh, if you are a person who suffers from something like open pores, mm. are you going to go and make a fancy mask? No, you have a very simple ingredient here, mm. which is high on vitamin C. It's excellent for the skin, and tomatoes are slightly acidic in nature. Hmm. So all you do is you cut the tomato in half, hmm. and you rub it onto your skin. Hmm. 
you start rubbing it, especially on areas which have open pores, which mm -hmm. means the nose, the cheeks, the chin, mm -hmm. and the forehead. And mm -hmm. you let it dry completely. Mm -hmm. Wash your face with cold water, and mm -hmm. you will find that your open pores will start shrinking slowly over a period of time. Then there's one more uh, question from Chidat Chidatmika Khatua. Okay. Uh, how you know tips for pimples for oily skin, especially now in Orisha being in very uh, being very hot. What do I do for oily skin for pimples on oily skin? That's a question. Follow Kavita's advice. Drink at least ten glasses of water every right. day right. because acne and pimples again start from within. Right. So uh, you need to flush out your toxins. There's right. only two ways to do it. Yeah. One is to drink water yeah. so that you flush your toxins yeah. through urine. Yeah. The second way is yeah. to exercise because it helps increase blood circulation. Right. Besides this, at home, you can make a very simple wash uh, with uh, about five tablespoons of multani mitti, full as earth, to right. which you can add the paste of two teaspoons of neem leaves. So you just grind it in a mixi or you can do it on a silver tub. Mm. Add two teaspoons of fresh neem paste and one teaspoon of camphor. Mm. When you have mixed these ingredients, take a teaspoon at a time, add rose water mm. and just wash your face with this. You can leave it on as a mask and you will find slowly the oiliness in your skin will reduce. And besides this, because camphor and neem both are antibacterial, they will also help reduce your acne and pimples. So there you have a very simple remedy. Wonderful. I think that, uh, you know, lots more questions for you. I'll take one more and then we we'll go on to Megha. Uh, uh, lots of questions of hair fall again. So I think we can club them together. Uh, uh, one on hair fall and one on uh, dandruff. So let's look at on hair fall and the second on dandruff. Uh, all right, so let's let's tackle dandruff first because dandruff again is an internal problem. Much as many people think that using just a anti dandruff shampoo is going to solve it, it's not. Right. So um, the internal causes for dandruff. Let me just tell you, it can be a prolonged illness. Mm. It can be lack of taking adequate water. It could be an inadequate, balanced diet. Mm. It could be depression. Mm. It could be lack of exercise. It mm. could be lack of a proper hair care routine. Right. So if, if these are right. any of your causes, you need to change. You need to right. eat healthier. You need to drink more water. Right. Right. If you have been suffering from an illness, then uh, you need to take supp vitamin supplements and add lots of fruit and vegetables to your diet. So that, you know, your body immunity improves and uh, your hair also becomes right. healthy. Right. Especially protein. So dairy, eggs, meat and fish. These are things which you need to take more. To kill the dandruff in the hair, you need to use a combination of two things which I think work very well. One is massage your hair with pure coconut oil. Right. Follow it by applying the juice of one full lemon. Uh -huh. So you basically, you don't need to put, uh, you know, the uh, oil on all your hair, just massage the scalp mm -hmm. and apply the juice of one lemon for half an hour. Right. If you have a right. microwave oven in the house, wet a towel, put the towel into the microwave for about three minutes and use it as a turban. So you have turban therapy. <laughs> so it's basically creating your own spa in the right. house. Wonderful. We have everything available. Yeah. So let's make the most of it. Do this twice a week, along with eating healthy, drinking water, and you will see that within the next two weeks, or until the 30th of April, your dandruff <laughs> will disappear, and I promise you that. And I think the last question, Subhana, for As for hair fall. fall. Yeah. Yeah, so dandruff also causes hair fall. So if you have dandruff, first treat your dandruff, and then treat your hair fall. For hair fall, again, it can be an unbalanced diet. All of us are tending to have a lot of comfort food. So what yep. we need to do is we need to add yep. much more raw foods into our uh, diet, like right. more salads, have lots of fruit, have high fiber so that your metabolism increases and oil your hair. Hmm. Um, almond oil is excellent. 
it has high contents of vitamin E. If you don't have almond oil and if you can get your hands onto a good quality Mahabringraj oil, that is the best. Which but I'm going to tell you Mahabringraj. Okay, right. Bringraj herb is one of the best. It's known as the king of hair, mm-hmm. of herbs for the hair. <laughs> so Brahmi, Brahmi again is very good. So if you have a Brahmi oil or a Mahabringraj oil, if you have neither to give you a recipe for a hair mask hmm. which is again very simple hmm. two teaspoons of shikakai powder hmm. two teaspoons of avla powder and two teaspoons of rita powder hmm. mix these with one egg and a little bit of milk and apply it to your hair for about 45 minutes and hmm. shampoo your hair after this and always condition the hair hmm. you know uh, we are subjected to so much of pollution dirt and dry that is important that you condition Abla, Rita, Shikakai because again, we are all in quarantine and lockdown. Yeah. Please just use the following things. Two eggs whipped up very well. Yeah. Add the juice of one lemon. Right. And if you can, mix two fruits. One banana mashed or you can actually puree it into a blender. Mm-hmm. Add to this mixture of egg and lemon. Mm-hmm. On from the scalp to the ends of your hair, mm. rub your hair with a shower cap, leave for about five minutes and shampoo your hair, and you back, you will become you will have much, much more healthier hair naturally. Thank you so much, Aparna. This is really very, very, I think we can go on, but, you know, we'll have to uh, call an end to that. Uh, we also have Megha waiting. Thank you so much, Aparna. 